here at the moment holding these signs because these people are vulnerable, innocent people who are taken by people who are much stronger than them with weapons. That is exactly the position those animals are in. Going down into the gas. We hit the streets of London wearing TVs to show people footage from the new documentary, Pignorant, which exposes the horrors of the pork industry. I bumped into a pro-Israel protest group and we got into a discussion about the gas chambers they use to kill pigs. At one point, an anti-vegan carnivore troll tried to disrupt our protest and I ended up in a pretty intense discussion with a couple of the pro-Israeli protesters. Hey, you alright? Hi. Hey. You alright? So what's what's the group? It's about hostages uh, in uh, uh, in Gaza. So you're like pro-Israeli group. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, what, 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 what are you? So we've there's been a new documentary just come out called Pignorant. Oh yeah. And this might hit home. For, are you are you all Jews, Jewish people? Yeah. Pretty much. yeah. So sorry, not all, not all, not all. But you're allies, right? Indeed. So we're exposing that the UK uses gas chambers to kill pigs. Oh God which I guess is close to home for a couple of people here, right? It's disgusting. This, most pigs are killed in gas chambers in the UK. So we're pointing this out to people, and, I, and for obvious reasons, a lot of people are disgusted by it because they think the only other time they've ever heard of a gas chamber is the obvious, right? It should have stopped then. We should never, ever have used a gas chamber to kill anyone, human or animal, ever since that moment, but we still do. This is what this looks like. They use CO2 gas. It burns their eyes, noses, lungs. They scream and writhe in pain. And the consumers don't know about it. The supermarkets hide it. The meat industry hides it. So that's why we're here. Uh, we want people to realize this. Demand transparency from these industries and stop consuming it and stop consuming these poor animals, you know? The pork industry, exactly. This, this is the pork industry. Pork industry, pigs. Yeah, pigs. Yeah, the meat industry. This is how they, this is what they do. a lot of pollution for the environment, actually. The industry. They do that as well, yeah. We're, we're, today we're more focused about them gassing pigs to death. Gas. Gas, this is gas chamber. Gas chambers. You know, as people, I, I said, like, not everybody here is Jewish, but Jewish, anyone who's an ally... Pork, I think this is terrible for any animal. Absolutely. Any, it's animal, no, no. Absolutely. No, it's disgusting. You're absolutely right. We have a problem. He, this, he's coming here to cause problems. Oh, I see. He's one of the one that... He's somebody against... Doesn't think pink should be... No, he, th he, he likes this. Yeah, yeah, he likes this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our guy here... Um, his name's Joey Carpstrong. He filmed this documentary. He went inside a gas chamber and put cameras to expose this. This guy comes with meat and puts it in his face. What? It's the equivalent. Imagine if someone came here and made fun of your, you know, well, you, we, you'd be very angry, right? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a vegetarian. Know. If someone puts the meat like that for me, it's uh, really annoying. It, well, yeah. Wow. It's 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 just it's so disrespectful. You can ha you can tell me you disagree. You can you can argue yeah, with yeah, me. Glad. You can that's, shout at me if you want. It's unreal. But you know that's just that's you know. That's unreal. And our and our our guy, you know, he loses his temper obviously, and then oh, the police yeah. come and. Of course, it's provocative. Of well, yeah, of course, yeah. You can't blame him. You know, he get, he's angry. Yeah. He's passionate. Did, did um, you know about your country? They know he find he finds us online. He fi he knows where we'll be. He comes. I mean, forgive me, but like there's. Yeah, it's a, there's a sort of conflict that we have, and there's another side to it, and I get that. Mm. I don't understand how the opposite to being, like, to being vegetarian is is to is to be pro thrusting meat in people's face. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm not vegetarian, but I'm not going to come and oblige you to. No, it's it's yeah. To, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't understand how that's the opposite. He, he, he wants to cause a uh, to trigger. Now, if people get so arsy about things like that. Yeah. When it comes to other things in, you know, yeah, the uh, Gaza stuff is yeah. quite difficult for other people. He's just well. very angry because, um, well, you know how I'm talking to you guys and how it's been very respectful. Yeah. And how, of course, hey, listen, I would I would love for all of you to become vegan and to stop doing these horrible things to animals, right? Now, obviously, that's me trying to convince you. He'll say that's me trying to force you. Now, I'm not forcing anything. I, if you, you could tell me now I don't want to talk to you, I'd walk away. I'd walk away. Yeah. But so he thinks he's doing a public service by coming out and forcing us to face the meat. Like we force That's them to name. face the veganism. So bizarre. Yeah, right? Like all we do, we come out, we talk to people, some people say go away, we go away. Some people argue with us, we argue. Yeah. You know, like we're not we're not forcing tofu on you. <laughs> we could, you know, if that if yeah. <laughs> all of our people are out here for the same reason you're out here, obviously. 
your, your focus is human rights, we respect that. Our focus is animal rights, but it all comes from compassion. It it's all comes from a place of compassion. Mm -hmm. We have to make bridges between the absolutely. world. Absolutely. We are animals as well. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. So this is so, right? Yeah, that's why you're a veggie, right? Because you're, you're compassion. What stops you from going vegan? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah. And you know, you know about the dairy industry. The younger generation is much, much better. My so just started actually as well. Do you think you could overcome the uh, the lust for the sake of animals? Well, it depends. If you talk about complete vegan and leather or whatever, being just about everything. Yeah, uh, man. yeah, I think it's a good. It's possible. Yeah, man. I think yeah. you could. You, any any compassionate person could do it. Yeah. You know, because all it takes is for you compassionate enough to be vegetarian, so you have compassion for animals, right? Yeah. That, that's uh, everybody here is a vegan. We're focusing on pigs today, but obviously we it's not just pigs we care about. We care about all animals. That's why we don't want to well, eat them. The thing is also a small step, so you can't go from all of a sudden vegan. But even why not? within even. I just industry and stuff like that. It's oh, why not you though? I mean, why not you? No, 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 no. Yeah, not personal. Like you could do it, right? Yeah, yeah. For one I'm gonna push your balls, man. I'm gonna go hard on you for a minute. For one person we, is we, easy. We've done the nice bit. No, but what nah, I mean I have to is, go tough. Come what, on. What I mean is like uh, campaigns about uh, the live shipping of animals. Yeah, live export. That's also that's that a big is, campaign that's as well. Really, yeah. really something that it is not easy. It, people can eat their It's not it's easy. easy. It's not easy. It's, it's difficult. It's need. It's effort. The same as to be a Jewish. It's for mm. me, it's too late to be <laughs> to join the as well to be you a think Jewish so? as well. I'm not <laughs> observant of Jewish. Oh, I don't well. I, I think oh, I it's, mean it's <laughs> not too late to become vegan, but not too late to my become daughter, vegan. Actually, not too late to become vegan. Yes. Now you're right, veganism uh, going vegan takes some effort. I'm not gonna lie to you and say, oh, it's it's super easy. But you know what makes it very easy? Thinking about these animals. You think about them, and then all of a sudden you, you just go, oh, I want to eat that. But then you think, but no, because I'm a compassionate person, I don't want to hurt animals. It's very easy to not eat it. If you're just thinking about it as a diet, difficult, yeah. If you think about it as a, a stance, an animal rights move, empathy, a lot easier, a lot easier then. You just make that switch, you know, as a compassionate person. Yeah. It's a good Biggest. marketing. He, he changed the video because he knew it's Jews for testing you. So I thought, which, one, which animal to go for? I'll go with pigs because they're Jews. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I also changed the, the, the documentary. It's pig ignorance. So I would have had to change my hoodie as well, I, wouldn't I? <laughs> Tomorrow when the Hindus are testing, it'll be the showers. Cowardly is going to be the film tomorrow. Cowardly? That's, that's a good name. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're I think we'll take that at some point. Yeah, that's actually Jews fine. in the film industry. We know. I'll pass that. Oh, you're, oh great. I'll pass that on the guy. He also has contacts in Hollywood if you want. Ah, cool. <laughs> the guy. Oh, was that a joke? Was that a joke? <laughs> Just going with the stereotype. That was enough. Man, it's that's... No, I love that. I, I like that you go self-deprecating. That's always good to laugh at yourself, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. We do a bit of that in our, in our world as well. Yeah. Sure, man. It's important. If you can't, you know, if you can't beat them, laugh at them, right? Yeah. So, if you don't get Amazon Prime, just go on YouTube type in UK gas chamber and you'll get this footage you can show people and expose it and um, and of course you can go vegan which is what I'm sure you're all gonna do now it's easier to be Jewish than to be vegan yeah From that, it's easy to do both it's, diet. it's, it's easy to do both vegan. yeah easy it's to do easy both to be Jewish, to be you can't find the kosher food you go you go vegan, vegan. yeah, yeah exactly. well vegan, everything vegan is kosher by default right so no? no is there anything no, not fully Oh, tell me what 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 uh, what plant foods have got kosher? Silk has to be better Jewish than it's wheat. It's about how you grow it. It's it just uh, wheat. Yeah. yeah, you have to not uh, use it on the seventh uh, year. Se seventh year can give every, a freedom. Every tree that gives fruit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're allowed to use it on the seventh uh, year. That's where Sabbath. Ah, oh. uh, sabbatical seventh day. You mean sabbatical? No, the seventh, seventh, seventh year. year. Every yeah. seventh, what does that mean? Seventh 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 sabbatical year. comes from but the seventh year. Of freedom to the, actually to re to rest. The, the, the soul and everything. I'm family. not getting it. We, I, so, so, we, so we, we, in the same way as like you're saying, you know, be compassionate for the for the animals. Yeah. The, the idea is to be compassionate to the land and the, the trees and give them a year oh off every god. seven years. It's also That's, better for the trees and the land yeah, to yeah, give yeah, them yeah. a fallow year. No, I'm saying, oh my god, so I'm like a surprise. Like, so yeah, so it's, it's so, it, in this. It, so, come on, it, all the Jewish people should be vegan. If you have compassion for the land. You should have compassion for the animals too. Come on, that's amazing. There's lots of Talmudic discussion about about, for example, 
like about animal sacrifices right, and about right. why why there were animal sacrifices and there's there's a sort of I, there's lots of discussion about the idea that it was a sort of concession by God because the Jews couldn't be so different to everybody else so oh. they did some animal sacrifices but it was in a different way than than the than oh. like the very pagan rituals and so there's there's a theory like for example like Jonathan Sachs who was the chief rabbi here right. was a pescatarian for example okay okay and there's a whole thing about why was he a pescatarian and like there are certain ideas that possibly we were supposed to have eaten less than we, than we do. Okay, okay. And even keeping kosher is about at least putting some boundaries and some ethics I understand, around what yeah. we do eat and how we how we grow it and how we kill it and whatever else. Like, for example, like the idea that you purge all of the blood from meat mm. is partly because it's 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 supposed oh to be some idea that you're not supposed to eat something that, that has any trace of really being a living thing. Obviously, okay. that doesn't appeal to you, but like, sure, but I the understand point is, the concept. Still, there, there are some boundaries that are there, and there, there are lots of discussions about maybe these were all concessions, and that we were supposed to eat even less than we do. Okay. As, as a Jewish concept, like, there's lots of debate. An entire Jewish vegetarian society. That Amazing, exists. right? There's all sorts of. You know, so it's absolutely. It's, it's, it's not. It's not an alien idea to Jews or Judaism. But it's it's actually good an to know. Good to know. Tribe in Israel, um, of. Originally, they're from Chicago, but they're like the Hebrew... Israelites. Well, yeah. Israelites kind yeah. of thing, yeah. I know these. And they're all vegan. Ah, they're all vegans. They're I didn't all know vegan. that bit. All vegan. The whole village, everything there is vegan. Great, so it's very much compatible. There is, there very are. Very much compatible. Yeah. I, I, I've never heard that concept of, uh, of uh, giving the land a rest. Um, uh, that's a really interesting that's thing. Like a human being. It's a seventh day yeah. to rest. Yeah, I like it. I think it's yeah. very... Seven day similarly, seventh year, you got a truly gap year. I think it's a really good idea. In your, in your life as well. Yeah, I think it's a really good idea. I think it's something that in the future, when the whole world is vegan, hopefully, that we incorporate this kind of practice to actually care more for the planet. Once we've, you know, once we all establish we need to care for all the animals, and then we can look into, well, as we're growing plants, how do we do that in a more caring way too? And then- try now to give some land to grow naturally, yeah. not to be always cultivated. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, way, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a similar idea, to give the land freedom, seven year attribute to relax. I like it. I like it. We've got a big job getting people to get on board with all of this, but uh, I'm, I'm confident it maybe it won't be us who do it, but you know, the well, ones after one us. One question to you is, uh, yeah, Jürgen, sure. yeah. where do you stand on fake meat from laboratory? If it's originally from a little cell, from one cell, yeah, and so, then been multiplied over years. And yeah, that's a good question. So for me personally, I've lived my whole life without meat. So I've, I don't know, I, it's interesting, but I, I probably won't make it any part of my life. Um, <laughs> the only time I would make it a part of my life, I'll try it. Is if is if the cell, if if the research is done and other companies are using the data, it's the same as eating anything, right? For example, like most food you eat now was tested on animals 20 years ago. Yeah. I'm still eating it, yeah. right? So if we reach that point, I might try it, but I don't think it would ever become a daily thing for me because I, I like what I eat already. You know, I just yeah. eat bean burgers or whatever. You know, I, I get enough protein. I get what I need. Vegetarian, vegetarian since I was born, and then vegan for about 14 years. Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm quite happy with what I'm eating now. I think lab meat though, not for me personally, but for the world is a very good thing. Because, listen, if we can get meat without a slaughterhouse... Yeah, it's better than doing that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And there's a lot of people out there who don't have compassion, but if there's another product on the shelf that's cheaper and better for you and it still tastes the same, they're going to buy it. Um, so they're they're going to buy yeah. it, you know. At but, the moment, well, it's hard to achieve uh, the cheaper and better for you. Right. Uh, yeah, which is going to be the case. Yeah. And, for all, it's the, the case, that's, yeah, and yeah. for all the people, like I said, for all the people who don't care about animals, that's what's going to win them over. Yeah. yeah. For all the people who do care no, about I think animals. It's not even that they don't. I think it's, it's fair to say most people are ambivalent. It's not that they don't care. It's that they, they care to a certain degree, but not to yeah. the degree of, of inconvenience or changing their behavior. This is, yeah, yeah, which I, is which I, I find pretty heinous, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I find that pretty heinous. I mean, it's not just like a, if I don't do this, nothing happens. It's like, they physically, uh, they are actually paying someone to do these kinds of things. Sure. You know, it's it, it, it's horrible that someone would say, 
oh well you know I don't care enough to not do it because I like something else something tastes yeah. I think that's a really pretty nasty way to be you know but if you ask most people they would say they were compassionate yes. broadly compassionate and they would even think of themselves as broadly compassionate everyone does I do. yeah everyone you know, does I know that if I you know, the number of times that you know I so you know, like if I find a stray dog on the street and I'm concerned for the dog's well-being yeah and then without a second thought I'll have a piece of chicken for lunch yeah 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 and I most people will make a disconnect and it's like they do. it's very and I, I think you know, we, all, we all do I mean one of the things that, that you know it, one of the reasons why the, the, the Jewish way of, of preparing everything exists in the way it does and why you're supposed to say a specific blessing for each type of food is because you're supposed to at least honour the fact that that's made a journey to get to you. I understand. And I, I get the ethical quandaries, but at least be res that don't be thoughtless is the point. Mm. Don't be thoughtless about... And I'm, you know, I get that that's not a compromise that you all, you would accept. I, I, I understand I, what you're I, saying. I think, I think you have to see things on a trajectory. You can't right. simply say that the choices are vegan or immoral. Mm. But, like, that there are shades of grey, mm. and, and it's obviously preferable to try and get into as far into what you would consider acceptable territory as possible. But I understand. You would certainly prefer probably my approach to uh, to that guy waving his meat mm -hmm. in the face, and you prefer his approach to mine, mm. and you prefer your approach to his. So you can see the grades of it. I understand. Yeah, I think I think it gets to a point where where um, once people understand and know that we can eat plant-based and, and we can be perfectly healthy and then once the humane lies have gone because you know we're all lied to from birth aren't we yeah. oh yeah the animals have a great life once that's been done sure. then we're at a point where it's look <laughs> it does then become it's black and white right yeah. but until that moment I, there are shades of grey I'll give you that because people yeah. think things are fine the animals just fall asleep in the gas chamber you yeah, know yeah, that's, that's what they yeah. think right as I said once all that has been revealed then yeah. there is a, there's a much firmer line of well, listen, now you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're making the decision to fund these horrors knowingly. Now there's a big issue here. Yeah, that's yeah. what I would say, you know, um, and that's the boat you're in now. That's the boat you well, now I, you know, I, you know? I, but I, have, I, mean, I take a different approach. I, I, I don't, I try not to eat things that come from factory. I have my own set of compromises. Oh. We, we all have our own level of hypocrisy. My, my view of it is that I try not to eat things that I wouldn't be prepared to go and work out how to prepare myself. Right. So I've been to an abattoir, I've, I've been hunting, I've done things that, that I'm sure you would find awful. And most of the other meat eaters I know find awful. But my view is that like for me, I think they're hypocrites because at least have the decency to go and do I understand. go and do the things that put this food on your plate. Let me say and, something. And that's, for you. That's, that was where I, I was at. And, I, and I'm willing that my position may move, but that's where, oh, I, yeah. that's where I'm at. Uh, I appreciate you saying that, that, that you're open. I, I hope this doesn't offend you. I'm not trying to offend you, but I'll just say one thing. Um, you're out here at the moment holding these signs because these people are vulnerable, innocent people, defenseless, who are taken by people who are much stronger than them with weapons. Sure. Vulnerable, defenseless, and innocent taken by those stronger. That is exactly the position those animals are in. And the position those animals, what you did to them, that's ex they were in the same position as these people. Sure. And like I know I they're said, not humans. We all have our level of hypocrisy. I understand. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not calling you a hypocrite. I'm trying to, no, I'm trying to make the connection. Myself. I'm trying to, uh, I appreciate you honestly. Yeah. I'm trying to make you make the connection between like, defending the vulnerable. Um, I really hope that you'll do the same for those animals I in understand. the future. That's what I'm trying to say. No, I, I because fully, you fully, fully understand where you're coming from and I respect it immensely. All right, man, cool. Thanks for talking. Appreciate it. All handshake hands, a bit more formal. Yeah. Thanks for talking. I appreciate you. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'll take the glove. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thanks for talking. I appreciate it. Thank you. And just go go online, type in how to go vegan. You, you, you can ask him. You already know how to go vegan. You're just being lazy. Do it. Come on, man. I believe in you.